We are talking from the porch today, and I am going to share uh, an analogy that I, I kind of came to me while I was in church this week. And basically, you see the title of my video, it's Repent Equals Change. I am not going to do a big thing about repenting um, spiritually as much, but I am going to make a correlation with your business. So listen and see how that plays out. But you hear a lot of people who may even be turned off by Christianity because they see people go to church week after week after week. They listen to the gospel. They listen to the message, but then you watch them throughout the week and they're not living what they're hearing. Have, have you ever met anybody like that? Have you left a church because of that? I have heard people have told me I used to go to church, but I leave because people there are hypocrites. They, they listen, they learn, but then they don't live what they're learning. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So with that in mind, what does that have to do with business? Well, let's take one moment first. Let's, let's think about what does repent even mean? Okay. Because I don't want you to think about repenting in business in the sense of repenting in your Christian life, if that makes sense. But repent means to feel or express a sincere regret or remorse about something, about something you've done wrong or something that maybe you feel is sin. So I don't want to make an analogy in that regard because repent is a pretty strong word, but repent is something we think about when we think of change. That's why I use that word. I wasn't trying to do clickbait as much as getting your attention. So I went into the, the sources and I thought, well, what, what is another word we could use instead of repent that is very similar. That's what a thesaurus is. You find words that mean the same thing, basically. So I came up with two words, deplore, regret. Okay. So how many of us, um, maybe in your life, you have, you, you don't like the way your life is right now, right? You deplore maybe parts of it. Um, business wise. We're, now we're going to bring it over to business because we're, we're not going to do, you know, repent, you know, we're not going to get too strong there or, or remorse and sin. That's what I'm trying to get away from. But let's say in your life, you're, you're watching these videos about business. You're following me on this channel because you know, I'm trying to give you ideas of different businesses you can um, start on your own, how to help you change your life, take your life back. That's, that's basically my theme. Um, so what is it in your life right now that you deplore, that you don't like, that you, you regret that you're doing. I can sit here and tell you, I regret falling into the culture of thinking that I had to graduate from high school, go get a job, go, you know, go get a degree, go in debt, you know, just maybe stay at my job for 30 years. I mean, I grew up with a, my father was in the military for 29 years, very conservative, very do everything by the book. And one thing that was ingrained in my head was I thought that once I got a job, I stayed there for 30 years and got the gold watch. I mean, that was in my head. And, that, and, and I'm sharing that because I remember the first time that I quit a job. Um, I was living in Chicago and my friend, a friend, my, my husband at the time was in the Navy too. And he, what I did, I have had a neighbor and she and I went and got a job together on third shift because that was when we could work and our husbands would go to work during the day. And I'll never forget, we were in this factory in the middle of Chicago and we were at Solo Cup Company. Can you, can you believe it? It was almost like the movie with uh, I Love Lucy where everything went cra crazy, but all these lids would come off the machine a hundred at a time. You had to get them between the lines and hurry up and flip them and make sure there were no defects. If there were, you had to pull them out because I'm thinking, how am I going to pull these out? And then put them in a sleeve. I mean, you had very short amount of time. It was very high tense. Now, I enjoyed it because I like to be productive. I love to challenge myself, even at that simple level. But it was funny. My friend goes, we are not working here anymore. And I'm like, we've been here three nights. We can't quit. And I'll never forget. She's like, yes, we can. She goes, I'm out of here. And I thought, oh my gosh, we went through all these interviews to get here. I mean, I was like devastated. It was the first time in my life that I actually quit a job. Now I have, um, I had other jobs that I didn't think of as real jobs. Let's, let's put it that way. Like I, you know, some jobs aren't real jobs. You know what I mean? McDonald's or whatever, but this was a real job. This was a job that I looked at as it was a big adult job. I was in a factory and I had to be there every day. I was getting 40 hours. I was getting benefits. It was a real job. So I was very serious about it, but I'll never forget. She, she pretty much told me we're quitting. And 
I did. And that kind of let me start seeing, you know, life doesn't happen that way. Everything's not going to go on for 30 years. But I still had ingrained in me that I had to get a degree and I went and got my teaching license. And, you know, then once I got that, I had to go get my master's. You know, I was just falling into this. But something inside of me kept thinking, this this isn't right. I'm different than this. And, and that's why I'm here today. But I want you to look at your life. Like, what are you regretting? What do you want to change? What do you wish you could do different? Now, I don't want you to think of regret as beating yourself up over it, but think of it as what can I change? What can I make different? And that's when your life changes, when you can get rid of those old habits, those old thoughts and, and change it to the new you, if that makes sense. And here's where we go back to repent equals change back to the, the, enlightenment I got from the sermon, he was talking about how it's not enough to just hear the gospel. And that struck me because again, I thought, yeah, how many people go to church, they listen to the message and then they think everything's okay. It takes action to change. And that was the ha ha moment I got from the sermon was even with our job, how many, this, your entrepreneurship, your business, how many of you are sitting there and looking at all this training and all these videos and just just immersing yourself in all of this, but you're not doing anything with it? And that's what I want the message for you today is, yes, it's important to learn the skills. Yes, it's important and helpful. I hope you're getting something out of this video. I hope it's motivating you to just change your thinking. And I hope that, you know, those courses that you take, wherever they are, that you're taking notes and you're, you're learning, but are you implementing? Are you putting action behind it? And that's what you might not be doing. That might be why you're not growing. That might be why you're not changing. You're, you're somehow locking yourself in to thinking that you're still this person. You're trying to become this person, but you haven't changed your thought process. You haven't taken action with those skills that you're learning. And that's why you're stuck where you're at. So from this, what I want you to do is think about all those things you want to change. Okay. And change them. And you've got your, then look at the next step. What are all the, the, what are all the videos I'm watching, all the courses I've been through. And now what is the list of actions that I'm going to take? And it, it can be something small. You don't have to go in there and jump in and change everything, but you have to start taking action. You have to become that new person. You have to become that millionaire that you're thinking about. You have to become that six figure person that you've been thinking about. You have to look at that new life that you want and don't stay stuck where you're at. And it works the same way when we talk about the gospel, right? You can't just read it and become it. You have to take action with what you're reading and become that new person. Um, and with God, it's a new life. With us, it's a new person, okay? With your job. And a lot of times, we just as humans, I think we get ca caught in being comfortable with where we are and we don't even realize it. Like we're thinking, yeah, I, I do. I want to, I want to become a millionaire. I, I want to, I want to have security for my family. I don't want to have to depend on a paycheck. I do want to take my life back, but are you doing the actions? Are you taking action to make that happen? And, and you may not even realize you're not, you may be thinking, well, yeah, I'm watching some courses. I'm watching videos. I'm posting on social media. Those aren't things that are going to change you. There's other actions. Okay. So one of the actions is right now, if you haven't even come up with a, a sales funnel or anything to, to push your product, do you even know how to get your product out there? Um, there's a link below. It's a 30 day training. Start with that. I'm, I'm just, I thought, what can I offer today to help somebody who hasn't done anything yet? There's a training down there. Start with that. That was, um, monumental for me in my business. It really helped me understand uh, marketing and how to get your product out there and, and, and email marketing. I mean, you learn so much in there. It's not even funny. It's 30 days and people have gone in and taken this training four and five times. I know people that have done that. I did mine twice, but my point is you've got to take action. You can't just hear it and think you're going to change. You can't just read a diet about a diet. It's like that. If you're going to read a diet, you're not going to change. If you sit there on the couch and watch the exercise program, you're not going to lose weight. You're not going to become stronger. You have to put action behind it. And it's the same way with your business. 
you have to take it seriously. And one thing I want you to start doing as you're taking it seriously, start looking at how you're going to schedule it into your day. If you only have one hour a day right now, schedule it and make that be your action for your business. If you only have two hours, schedule it. Don't beat yourself up because you have to work or you have a family and you have all these other responsibilities. I have heard story after story of people that have children and they have you know, their spouse and, and they have all that life stuff, but they still made it happen and you can too, but you have to cut out the time and be realistic. If it's an hour, that's okay. And if it's five hours, that's great too, but put it in there, schedule it in there with the rest of your life and take some action. Don't just listen to the gospel. Okay. You have to put some action behind it if you're going to change your life. And thank you for watching me today. Um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video.